we got a little uneven wear on the front tire. We're going to see about getting it swapped out on one of these rear tires. Figure out where we want to go. Well, we, we're going to ship Shawana, Indiana. Going to see the Amish country. A lot of other stuff. We're really excited. But we thought y'all y'all could go along with us today. Seeing things going down the road. You wanna talk anything about our trip? We drove up past Nashville last night. We drove to four this morning and lay down and slept about eleven. I don't know what it is. It's around 12 o'clock now. Yeah. We hunt we hunt in a tire store. We'll drag around a little bit. Might lay down and sleep a little bit more where get ready where we can run again tonight. What time was it when we drove to what time? Four o'clock. Four o'clock. We lay down about four o'clock. In a love truck stop, one of my favorite RV camping parks. And the neat thing was we didn't even have to run AC. It's cool enough up here. It's 68 degrees. Not not in the daytime. At night. At night. Our friends are already up there. And I talked to them yesterday and she told me that today, that last night the way it was supposed to be 51 and then today it was got the high was 75. We don't know how to act about that because we're from Florida. We're hot, hot, hot. Humid. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. I was reading a post and somebody moved to our little old town. They posted in the thing they got there called Christy Word of Mouth. Asked, was it always this hot in Florida? And uh, somebody went back and said, you Yankees. Warm your car up in the winter. Us Southerners cool it down in the summer. Go crank your car about 10 minutes before you want to get in it. You turn the AC on, it'll be cool when you get in it. I'd say it was hot. I figured it'd be. And it may be warm up here. Because it's a little early for it to be turning. We, we're still in August. Florida, that's the hottest month, isn't it? Yeah. The end of July to about the first of September is hot, hot, hot. Dog days is the first of it, isn't it? I think about the 21st to 22nd to the 21st to 22nd. Maybe about 30, 40 days of dog days. Yeah, I just saw a sign. You probably picked it up on there, too. But 11 miles to Franklin, Kentucky. That's where we're going to... He just wants to rotate some tires. Yeah, we're gonna rotate the tire. He just does that every so often to keep them from getting so worn. Boy, the trucks are running today, but let me tell you, last night up here in Kentucky they have what do they call those? Uh, Tennessee. Or oh, Tennessee. Pull well, out for truckers. Yeah, pull out for truckers. I mean for a lot of truckers. And they say trucks only. Both sides of the road and all the trucks, they were stopped when there wasn't any on the road. But listen, they're running this today. And big wheels are rolling right now. Now, what is that out there? That's something big out there. I saw one back here. It's an industrial park, but we, we ain't making it. Right yet. over yonder is something real big. Here's your Kentucky sign right here coming up, I think. There's the rest area welcome center. In two miles, take exit two for US 31 West Franklin. There's your Kentucky sign. Where'd she say go now? Let me listen back to her. I changed everything when I went on that. Okay. In 1.5 miles, you're going to turn on to 31 West. 31 West? Yeah. Okay. We got 
getting some of the trip today, but there's really nothing out there right now, so. Right here. Yeah, one here comes into Franklin. One mile. I don't even know how big a town it is. Do you? Big enough to have a tire shop. <laughs> well, Baker has a tire shop. That's <laughs> nothing to compare. And, well, it might be big as Baker. That little town we live in, it's small. It has, it has a one little grocery store. It has a couple of little restaurants, don't it? Yeah. Years ago, when I was in the Navy, I stationed out there at Gunport. I'd come home on the weekends, and them boys want to go with me. I brought an old boy home from California, from a big city in California. He went back and was telling everybody about Baker. And he was so funny. And in the best southern draw, he could bust up. He said, Y'all, it's got a caution light. We're getting all here. We're going to turn left on 31 West. What next? But that was so funny. Y'all, it's got a caution light. We have a red light now. Yeah, I, talk, I talked to him. One of the buddies was kidding me about it the other day. I was in the Navy with him about 50 years ago. We went by and seen him. He was talking about that caution light. It's an Haney in the caution light. I said, well, hey, we've upgraded it. It is now a red light. We have too many directions on. We have a GPS that's telling us how to get to Ship Shawana and I've got my cell phone getting to the truck. I mean the tire shop. Well, we're gonna sign off right now and when we get set up at the tire place, he'll get back with you. We'll talk to you. Well, I made this journey.